एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम टूडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग ट्रिपल इंटीग्रल इन कार्टेशियन कॉर्डिनेट्स वेलकम टू इस चांद अकेडमी माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर नीलम For more details, please refer to the book from S. Chan Publishing. Details are given on this side, and link is given in the description box. So let us start with the triple integral. So in our previous videos, we have already covered double integral. So it is in continuation of that that we will be try to uh, you know evaluate this triple integral. As the name indicates, triple integral means there is an involvement of three integrals. So triple integral in cartesian coordinates in cartesian coordinates so we will represent it by i as we do in all type of integrals and since we are having this name triple integral therefore there will be three number of integrals and if there are three integrals then the function is let us say f x y z and corresponding to each integration sign there should be one variable about which the integration needs to take place and let us say that this is to be integrated upon this d where d is made up of smooth surfaces joined along continuous curves so we need to find out we need we will study the, to find out this uh, uh, triple integral when integrand is given as fx yz the integration rule for triple integral will be similar to those of single integral and double integral so let us try to uh, revise the properties of the integration so first property is that if we multiply by any constant to the integrand that is fx yz and it is dx dy dz so it is the integration needs to take place over d then this k can be taken out so this will be d f and for convenience we can write down this as f which is to be understood as that this f is a function of x y z so for convenience we can write this as f on only and it is dx dy dz so this this property we already know for single integral and double integral we have already done so it also carries forward in triple integral now in double integral in our previous videos we have learned that this order in which these variables are written is very important if we have written this dx first that means we need to integrate it with respect to x first so this integration will be representing the limit for the variable for which we need to integrate this integrand first so if we are integrating this with respect to x first so the limits of x needs to be shown over this integration sign then this second integration will be taken with respect to y therefore this integration will show the limits for this uh, variable y and lastly we are having this integration to be in uh, integrated with respect to z and therefore the outermost integration sign will be representing the limits for z so this was the first property now second property is that if we are having two continuous functions that is fx y z let us say and plus minus g x y z and we need to find out the integration of this dx dy dz so it will be equal to the integration of fx y z with respect to dx with respect to d uh, with respect to x y and z and plus minus this integration d of g x y z with respect to x y and z so uh, whatever sign is here plus or minus that will be equal to the uh, we can say that 
when the sign is there but in the integrand so that sign can be taken out here and it will be uh, substituted between the two integration right so this property was also hold true for single integral and triple, uh, double integral so similarly rest of all the properties which holds good for single integral and double integral they will hold good for triple integral also now here what we need to understand is that how to find out the limits for x y and z so if this x y and z if the limits are given as constants then we are free to integrate with any, with respect to any variable first so this we can represent by one example so if we take that this is 0 to 1 0 to 1 0 to 1 and it is x is square plus y square plus z is square and let us say that this is given in terms of dz dy and dx so if we need to evaluate this integral now here we can see that all the limits are constants for all three variables x y and z all the limits are constant now it is not clear that which limit is for which variable so here this order will give us an idea that with respect to which variable we need to integrate first so here it is written as dz that means the integrand is to be integrated with respect to z first so as we said that the rules of integration are similar so here when we will integrate with respect to z we need to consider x and y as constant and similarly with respect to one variable we will be integrating rest of all the variables will be treated as constant so we need to integrate this integral with respect to z first therefore this becomes 0 to 1 0 to 1 and it is x square plus y square into z plus 1 by 3 z cube and it is dy dx and here are the limits for z because if this was the first variable which was to be integrated with respect to which the integrand is to be integrand, uh, integrated then these will be the limits for that variable that is z. So we will substitute the limits for z so it is 0 to 1 0 to 1 and it is x square plus y square plus 1 by 3 and we are left with this integral. Now we need to remember one thing that if we have integrated this with this to z then now when the limits of the z has been substituted in the expression we should not be left with any z now rest of the expression should be written in terms of x and y because now we are left with a double integral so we it should involve only two variable at max so then we will continue with the integration now since it is written y here therefore we will uh, in integrate this uh, integrand with respect to y now so this these limits are to be considered for y so we will integrate this with respect to y now so this will be considered as x square plus 1 by 3 y because this will be treated as constant and plus 1 by 3 y cube and we are left with only one variable dx and for this the limits are to be substituted as 0 to 1 so when we will substitute the limits for y we'll see that we are left with x square plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 and dx so we are left with the expression 0 to 1 x square plus 2 by 3 and it is dx so that rule same rule follows here as well that is when we have integrated this expression with respect to y now the resultant should not involve any y rather we are left with a single integration therefore we should be left an expression in terms of one variable because it is a it is a definite integral and the values of all the constant the limits are given for all the variables so now this has been considered as uh, this has been converted into a single integration so we will integrate this so it will be 1 by 3 x cube plus 2 by 3 x and limits are to be substituted as 0 to 1 so if we'll substitute the limit we will be getting 1 by 3 plus 2 by 3 and that equals to 1 so that's how the integration takes place in triple integral 
we need to find out that values of which variable in the limits are given at which order. So if the order has been maintained as dz dy dx, that means the innermost integration will be showing the limits for z. And second number of integration will be showing the limits for y and the third number of integration will be showing the limits for x. So we have started with the triple integral. We have shown that how to write a triple integral what the rules of the uh, integration for triple integral are similar to the uh, rules for single integral and double integral. We need to understand that we are going from innermost to the outermost integration to find out the limit of the variable with respect to which we need to uh, integrate the integrand first. So, uh, we in this portion we have understood that how to write down the uh, triple integral, what do we mean by the uh, region D over which we need to uh, integrate the integral and how to find out the limit for all three variables. For more details, please refer to the book from H. Chand Publishing. Details are given on this side and link is given in the description box. Please do like, share and subscribe the video. Press the bell icon to get notification of upcoming videos. Thank you very much. All rights resolved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.